perfect, but it ain't bad. All right, so you know when we put it on, it's gonna be have that in it. Yeah. All right, what do you think? Uh, I see a lot of marks on it. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Ah, maybe I should have used a. I'll show you right now. Beautiful oh, fucking yeah. rims though. Were you not looking at it in the sun, just like in your garage? I was in my garage, you know? So my buddy wanted to do all his own paint correction and everything, and I'm totally fine with that. He's new at it, and, and I welcome that. But this needed some extra work done to it, so I helped him out. We cleaned it up a little bit. I let him play with all my polishers and tools and it came out pretty good after we were done. He has a Griot's G9 but he can't get into these smaller spaces so I pulled out some smaller rotary and DA polishers and also I'm going to be mixing the 400 and the 4000 Minzerna to get cut and finish on this thing and just clean it up mainly the faces and just do a, a better job before we get the coating going and after polishing we're going to use the mckee's coating prep auto wash this is a nice foaming soap with high lubricity it smells fantastic it has great cleaning power so let's get going Now I didn't want to bore you guys with the whole washing process, but what we did do was wash the vehicle thoroughly, pull it in the garage, we dried it and we're blowing out all the crevices and just getting all the water off there so it doesn't drip later. And throughout the process we also used the McKees N914 1 to 8 dilution ratio as a coating prep uh, spray. So I'm not too sure about these little coating applicators, but they're kind of neat. Your fingers can stick inside them. You can keep a hold of it better. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all primed up, putting about 20 to 30 drops on there. This bottle drips nice and easy, fits on my fingers well. And let's start applying this coating to the hood. I'm gonna do about a quarter of a panel at a time here. And uh, I'm just showing Scotty how to apply it and remove it because he's going to be following me and I want him to know what I'm doing and how he should be following me. So let's get going on this. So like I said, now I'm just getting a feel for this coating, how much I should be laying on there. The more I put on the pad, the better and longer flash time I have. I'm going to be removing the initial layer with a longer pile towel and then coming over with a second shorter pile towel to pick up anything that's left over. So as you saw, when we started coating, it was 82 degrees, which is pretty cool for me here in Vegas. And I'm able to let this sit for about two minutes before we start removing it, which is plenty for me. I'm having a good time, no stress here.
this point, I'm really starting to get a feel for the coating. I'm able to go longer, bigger sections. And I'm not saying that's for everybody, but I'm just getting used to it already. I can tell it works great in the temperature that I'm working in. So I'm stretching it out a little bit. And man, this coating really makes the car look glossy, like liquid metal. You know what I'm saying? Once you start removing this and seeing the shine and gloss off this thing, I mean, it just looks like a mirror. This coating comes off really, really easy. It's not overly tacky. Your first buff with the long pile towel takes off all the excess. And then you come over with a short pile towel to really just buff any residues left over off. And it's that simple, guys. Just amazing, easy to use. Really having a good time with this.
So basically we have the whole car done. We just need to do the front bumper, which I'm not gonna film because it's hard to get position. Then we're gonna flip the car around and let it cool down. This rear end was in the sun and we'll coat the rear end after. And basically we're done at this point, guys. Before I get into the review, I'm going to give you a quick little walk around. I mean, this thing looks like it's liquid metal, very fun and easy product to use. I'm loving it, guys. If you haven't tried the Art to Shine products, I haven't had a miss yet. They're all excellent. And take a look at this thing. Just finished using the Art to Shine Icon two year ceramic coating. And before I talk about this, let me tell you to subscribe and like the videos. We need your support. We appreciate your support. And make sure you hit that notifications bell so that you don't miss any of the new videos that we put out. Now, back to the Art to Shine Icon. This is a two year coating with massive gloss level. This is their highest gloss level of coating that you can buy um, what did i think about this well i was a little anticipating it being finicky but you know what it wasn't it went on very very easy and you really could do no wrong with this i would let it sit anywhere from uh two to three minutes and then i'd have my buddy wipe it off he was learning about the coatings and stuff so he was really enjoying this and we used it on a black vehicle so you definitely would see any mistakes that we uh, left on there. And you know what, of course, he missed a few spots wiping it off and maybe 20 minutes went by, maybe 30 minutes in some cases. And then I saw him and went to wipe them off and they still uh, came off rather easy. So very, very user friendly. The gloss this guy and myself, we're looking at this car and we're like, wow, this is, pretty awesome stuff and you know what it's barely been on for like an hour now so as it cures and gets better looking and harder and uh, the gloss just amplifies I can't wait to see it again in a couple weeks for a uh, updated wash on it but I'd highly recommend you guys try out this art to shine icon coating fantastic easy to use and I really liked it I think that whole car I have oh 40% left, 35%. So this is, I wanna say this is this is a 50 mil bottle. So maybe 30, 35 mils on that Mustang. And I was laying it on thick, guys. So that's another thing. If you want coatings not to flash fast, then you lay extra product on there. You know, put some on that applicator. You know, this, this applicator, this was neat. They have these little hand applicators, you put your fingers in, you rub them, and I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be weird. But you know, as I got used to using this, I really liked this. I liked it better than those old blocks that we use. And uh, I, I, found, I found this very, very fun to apply. I can't wait, I'm gonna put the um, nano graphene coating on my car next, and I'm gonna do some tests with the leveling. But for now, Icon is definitely an amazing, coding to use. Thanks for watching guys. You have a great day. Stay tuned for more videos.